Hey, what's going on everybody? Big J Glees here, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing in practice mode to help elevate my Sonya game, and that's what the series is about. And if you remember back to the video that I just made in the series, I was playing some online games against some pretty good competition, and some of the things that I noticed that I was having issues with was punishing as well as knowing my proper spacing with this character. And if you didn't see that video, you can do so by clicking the link down in the description below. So right here with Sonya, basically the two starters that I use for her strings are the back one and the back three. And for those of you who don't know, one is X and three is A for Xbox. And if it were PlayStation, it would be square and X. Now, I have to know how far I can be away from my opponent and still inflict damage from this attack. Because this attack links to full combo. So if I were to be from this distance away, I probably can still hit him. And I can still inflict damage and go right into full combo if I would like to. And the reason why that's so important is because I know my distance to strike and cause damage. And against certain characters, that can help keep me safe. And by safe, that means out of their range or out of their you know, major attacks. I, when I played against that Kung Lao, staying out at this range, he would have to use his EX uh, teleport, or not EX teleport, EX uh, spin to come and get me into full combo. Uh, the only thing that he would have from that distance would be the overhead hat which would be overhead. It's the only thing you would have from this distance where that would only link to a very short combo in the neutral game in mid screen uh, where Mayan would link to 20% damage or more. So if I would have played that a little bit differently, it, it, I would have been a little bit more dominant, I feel. And that's something that you need to know. And that's why I'm in here doing this. The other startup that we have is the back three. And that's a low startup. And I know that for the low startup, I have to be about here. Now, look, I'm still a little bit outside. Still a little bit outside. You got to be pretty close right there. You got to be almost almost right up on the person All right, for that low to strike. So now I, I know that. And you need to take your character into practice mode and figure these things out on your own. Uh, another thing that I'm working on are the combos. I'm working on extending my combos. And a way that I extend my combos with her, I added two more hits to my string. I just smacked my analog stick. I'm sure you heard that. But uh, <laughs> this is uh, the combo that I'm working on. And I'm not 100% at it yet, but I got it up about 3% more. So we have a couple more hits. Uh, one thing that I'm also looking to incorporate is the ender with up and four at the end. And the reason why I want to do that is because it creates a carry, like a corner carry. I can carry my opponent to the corner. It drives them further than the throw. So that was another instance. If you didn't see the spacing video that I made, you definitely should check that out. You can do that down below in the description as well. It's all part of the Mortal Kombat X guide that I created, and that guide is going to continue to have videos put into it. So it isn't finished. It's not complete. But there are the basic fundamentals to the game that are all in there in video. But back to what I was talking about was the corner carry with this combo. As you see, it moves the character all the way across screen. All right, and that's a little bit different than the throw. And you can even, if you're able to add those two hits in, you can carry them even further toward the corner. All right, as you see right there. And that's vitally important because right now I'm in perfect spacing here. And not only am I in really good spacing, I can do whatever I want from here. I can jump in and dive kick. I can dash in. I can run in. I can keep this spacing. I can dash back and, you know, shoot projectiles if I would like, depending on the character that I'm facing. If I'm facing somebody like, let's say, I don't know, Scorpion, that's probably not a great idea because he can just teleport and just whoop my face in. If I'm playing someone like Kung Jin... Uh, that might be an idea, unless he has an armored, uh, you know, an armor attack that he wants to utilize and use that dive kick. It's the only way he's really going to punish me, or we'll exchange, and he'll shoot his projectile, and I will shoot mine, and hopefully I shoot mine before he does, and I'm able to block. So those are the kind of things that I'm kind of thinking about and worrying about, and some of the things that you should be thinking about 
am worrying about. And the last thing is, since we have him in the corner, I need to be able to dominate in the corner and make sure that I'm inflicting as much damage as possible in the corner. So what I'm working on here is just extending the corner combo. And the way that we're doing that is we're adding the jump kick and two, two XYs or one twos. So I'm adding those. They're very quick and I'm able to juggle my opponent in the corner with those. So that's what I'm working on. So hopefully that maybe helped you out to think about what you should be doing with your character and things that you should be contemplating and going over. So one last thing that I am also practicing, it's a, it's a very simple thing. Instead of beginning combos always with the overhead and the low, which are a little bit slower on startup, uh, the overhead I believe is like 12 or 14 and the low is like 12 or something like that. Uh, what I've actually been doing is to punish opponents that use moves that have a faster recovery I'm using XX to start. Well, that was three X's. I'm using XX to start. And the reason why I'm doing that is because this is like five frames. So if a character has something on block that is five frames or faster on recovery, that's the only time they'll be able to block. But if it was, let's say, seven frames on recovery, this still wouldn't be able to punish. Like I wouldn't be able to go into this combo and I wouldn't be able to go into this combo. So that's why it's important to have, you know, quick punishing starts, all right, for when people do special moves and they're sitting in block recovery. So that's important as well. So that's the other thing I've been working on. And that's not a big adjustment. It's just getting used to the muscle memory of instead of, you know, pushing these buttons, I have to push XX to start the combo. It's just something I have to repetitively do until I get it. And it's coming along pretty well. So that's it. This is what I'm working on. Hopefully it helped you out and hopefully it gave you some ideas about your character and maybe what to look for as far as your game goes. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. Thanks for checking in. It's Big J Glee signing out and continue to game strong.